Ah, well, I think um, it's perceived very well. Uh, Renzo Piano is probably considered one of the greatest architects. And I think most Americans have been to some of his buildings. And uh, I think he sort of speaks for Italian design now. Although there's a tr tradition um, that we all know about from magazines, Abitare, Domus, other magazines like that, uh, that Italian design is the highest in the world and always has been. We're here in the Leonardo da Vinci Museum, uh, one of the greatest designers of all time. And uh, you know, you see the craft and everything in this country. Uh, the, the people we visited, the factories we saw, the craft is there. You know, it's still being done in this country. So it's, it's a continuum. Yeah. Oh, I think uh, craftsmanship. Uh, I would say style and craftsmanship are equal. Um, and that's a good thing because uh, without good craftsmanship, style doesn't mean anything. It's just on paper. I know that the products, the furniture, and all the things in Italian products are, are well produced. But I think it's the design and the craftsmanship that really uh, are the things that strike, strike uh, in the hearts of designers in America. Oh, <laughs> there's so many. Uh, Palladio first for me. Um, uh, and Gioponti uh, and, and Carlo Scarpa. I have, I have four Gioponti chairs in my kitchen, <laughs> super Leggera chairs. Uh, I, what I like about these Italian architects is they not only design buildings, but they also design ceramics, furniture, and objects. For, and and I, I believe that design is not just about architecture, it's about a way of seeing the world and principles. Uh, understanding nature and, and tectonics and physics and br bringing them all together. So, but there's a continuum there as well of good design. And I think it's because Italy is a more homogenous culture and, and its sense of history is, is, uh, is deep and, and it resonates in everyone. You know, America is different and a much bigger place, a lot more influences. Well, I, I hope they can. I mean, I, I, I ascribe more to the Italian taste than the American taste. America's a very big country, and it's a country of nomads. I mean, they were constantly moving and exploring new territories. And, um, you know, so people don't invest very much in, in their place of living or their city. They figure they're not going to be there very long. And so Italy, I think you're more aware of history and um, society and, and the Italian culture. America's got many cultures, uh, and, and it's, it's a temporary kind of culture. <laughs> Here, it's a, it's a deep culture, and it stays, you know? Um, so I think that's quite a difference. I, I think it's happening, though. I think people per, really uh, understand and appreciate good design. I mean, you, you, you go to America, and, and design Italian design's everywhere. Armani, you know, Versace, all of the Prada, all of the things that people admire and wear are Italian. And it's seeping into the culture, slowly but surely. But I think it, it's, it's made Americans aware of Italian design. I, I don't think there's another country in the world that has that, that kind of importance in terms of design for America. And I think it will work. I think it will start to blend. Uh, I'd like to work more with these companies. Uh, and see how we can work together and bring some of these products to America and show them off. Um, the problem is price and quantity. <laughs> we have to have a lot of quantity to make, to make something happen, and uh, that's difficult.